and I asked him, what do you think about Bernie Sanders? You, you, democratic socialist, you have a problem with that? And these guys were all like, oh yeah, I'm not for democratic socialism. I'm not a socialist, I'm a capitalist. But why are you at this rally? Oh, I love Bernie. He's fighting for me. So I came across a video on Twitter that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, the journalist in question, his name escapes me right now, but I, uh, the point he makes is excellent and I wanted you guys to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the video for you and then after we can discuss. Rust Belt. There were a bunch of guys there in particular who caught my eye. Guys who look like Trump voters if you're making a you know, police sketch of the, compo the composite Trump voter. Beefy guys, sometimes wearing camo. There's actually one guy I saw who had blood, like he had just come from shooting a deer, like it was blood on the camel pants. And they're at these rallies. And I asked them, what do you think about Bernie Sanders? You, you, democratic socialist, you have a problem with that? And these guys were all like, oh yeah, I'm not for democratic socialism. I'm not a socialist, I'm a capitalist. But why are you at this rally? Oh, I love Bernie. He's fighting for me. Mm. There, all, all I would say with all humility as a reporter, there is something going on in this country that is outside a lot of conventional thinking right now. There are a lot of people who actually are living in the 21st century and don't care as much about 20th century divides and labels as people think. And it's actually the right thing to do in, in this moment as a reporter, at least for me, is to become curious about that and try to understand. And what I've understood is when yeah. you have facts like over the last 30 years, the top 1% of Americans have gained $21 trillion in wealth, while the bottom 50 have lost $900 billion in wealth. That's the kind mm -hmm. of fact we start to understand. Maybe politics are changing and are going in a place that we don't quite fully understand. Jonathan. People, many people on the left connected the presumed success that Corbyn was going to have in Britain to the success that they presumed Sanders was going to have because they saw it on the ground. Um, and so we should ignore all these wildly unpopular positions that they had. They would not be insane to nominate him if he's the person that the majority of people want. And I, I have to push back against this as a political scientist in addition to somebody who happens to work as a journalist, I'm not a reporter. This comparison to Jeremy Corbyn doesn't make sense. It is a very narrow cast understanding of not only British politics, but American politics. I have said all along, Bernie Sanders' path to success is much more like Lopez Obrador in Mexico. The two major parties have disappointed everybody. People are angry that the Democrats no longer really represent working class people. People are mad that Republicans aren't necessarily doing anything good for the economy. And then you can have someone step into that gap and end up getting elected after several times of sort of being taken advantage of by the system. That's what happened at our... That was absolutely incredible. Like, we just witnessed probably one of the true moments that the revolution and the movement became unstoppable. Guys... We have conservatives who see themselves as capitalists, who don't care if Bernie Sanders is a socialist. They are so fed up with the status quo and the establishment constantly squandering all of the wealth on the 1% and nickeling and diming and screwing the backs of the working class for the last 30 or 40 years. They're sick of it. They're just fed up. So this race has come down to two points, trust and authenticity. In the last clip, after other dude spoke, the guy was talking about how voters are fed up with the two parties. It's just about trust and authenticity now, guys. Now, fuck all that shit. That was incredible. Um, this is the moment, guys. The revolution and the movement that we've been fighting for for the last four years, for Bernie Sanders, for Not Me Us, is happening. We're not just reaching centrists and moderates, we're reaching conservatives, right-wing people who are so fed up with the system and the lies and the corruption that they are going against their ideological beliefs, which is core in their hearts. They're going against that for authenticity and someone they can trust. And right now, Bernie Sanders is the only one in the Democratic primary running and in the presidential race that has both of those and has the 40 year history to back it. He has the receipts. We're gonna win this. Bernie Sanders will be the next president of the United States.